famous adventurer and explorer Abel Tasman sighted Tavi Uni in 1643 when on a voyage of discovery in the South Seas. Tavi Uni is 168 square miles in area, with a volcanic centre and surrounded by the warm South Pacific Ocean. It's separated from the main island by the Soma Soma Straits. Unlike most of Fiji, the majority of Taviuni's original settlers came from Polynesia, and that's in evidence today. This came about following an invasion in the 1860s of Tongans. The natives of Taviuni turned back thousands of invaders just off the coast. In the mid-1800s, European settlers recognised the great potential in Taviuni's fertile soil and established cotton, sugar and coconut plantations as well as farms growing pineapples, bananas and other fruit. Cotton farming has now vanished, but it's been replaced with growing of the Yangona plant, the basis for the famous kava drink known to all who live in the South Pacific. Today, Fiji is an independent democracy with a stable government centred in the capital Suva on the island of Viti Levu. The houses of native Fijians of Indian or Fijian descent are rather like this home illustrated here. The few white inhabitants of Taviuni live in homes scattered up and down the 50 mile long island. As in every country, it's the children who will provide the economic strength and political stability in coming generations. Education is free in Fiji, but children must wear a uniform to school. None of the uniforms or books and stationery are provided to the children by the government and parents must find the money. Many Tavi Unions are farmers growing only sufficient food for their own families. They have little other income. The burden of school expenses is very real and it falls to organisations like the Rotary Club of Tavi Uni to help with the funds. Last year, the local Rotary Club, all 11 members, managed to raise $90,000 to help these children. They've been raising funds for this project each year for more than 15 years. No amount of free education or clothing or books is worthwhile without a school classroom. In 2016, following the dreadful cyclone Winston, the village school at the at village of Draketti was destroyed. The children have been completing their study in a makeshift building shown in this illustration. The Fijian government say they have no funds to rebuild. The Rotary Club, together with a nearby resort, are raising $100,000 to rebuild. Already, 80% of those funds have been collected. We do hope you can find a way to help these children. After all, they're the future of Fiji.